Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, welcome to Friday Fun with the New Hampshire State Police. It's Sergeant Jeff Date again. I'm the Bomb Squad Commander for uh, the New Hampshire State Police Bomb Squad. And what I wanted to do this afternoon is just talk a little bit about our job and some of the pieces of equipment we use to keep New Hampshire safe. So, um, like I said, I work for the Bomb Squad. One of our jobs is, is we investigate suspicious packages and explosive devices and we make them safe so that nobody gets hurt. And in order to do that, we have to wear PPE or personal protective equipment, which we hear a lot about on the news right now, but the kind of PPE that we use is a little bit different than the masks and everything else that we're hearing about it on the news. So for example, I have right here is the EOD9 bomb suit. It's made by MedEng. It is um, pretty common in the United States to use this particular suit. And it's got four main components, and I'll explain each one of them real quick. So the first component is the trousers. This is the part that goes over my shoulders and covers up my legs. The second piece is what we refer to as the diaper. Now this isn't the kind of diaper that we have accidents in. This is the kind of diaper that protects us from explosives. And then the last part is the torso piece. Now this thing is rather heavy. Once it's all on, it's a little bit over 80 pounds altogether on the person's body. And then we top it off with a helmet. It's a full face helmet. The shield comes down, and then that's all that the bomb technician can see while he's wearing it. So, like I said, all together it's about 80 pounds. You can get rather worn. And the way that this protects us is through three things. There's three protection levels. It protects us from heat or flame. It's because it's made out of Nomex. It's the same kind of material that uh, firefighters' turnout gear is made out of. It protects us from fragmentation. Any hard objects that might come at us and that's because it has hard Kevlar armor on the front of it and that's what protects us from anything getting to our bodies and then the last thing is from overpressure which is the primary mechanism of injury in a blast and that's just that blast wave that comes at us it deflects it around the person's body so that they don't have any injuries inside All right the next thing I want to show everybody is the robots now what this allows us to do is to not have to wear the bomb suit there's a lot of things that we can do utilizing the robot so that the bomb technician never has to actually go down on something that could be dangerous. I'm going to just grab my control unit real quick. This is the Endeavor Robotics, now clear, uh, Packbot 510. And it's got several cameras on it. We've got a camera here, another one here, and then there's one here and here. So a total of four cameras. That allows us to see everything at multiple angles on the control unit, which you can see is this tablet computer. It has a gripper on the front that allows us to pick things up, put things down, manipulate objects, and we can attach a lot of different tools on it to do a lot of different functions. And I'm just going to show you real quick. Being a touch screen, all I have to do is manipulate my finger on the screen, and I can drive this robot anywhere. As you can see, it can climb hills, uh, it can operate in snow, it will operate in sand, basically all weather conditions. And then this entire arm can move with just some multiple poses. So for example, if I wanted to pick something up with one touch of a button, the arm will move itself into a position to be able to pick something up. So if there was an object someplace where we wanted to move it to someplace safer, I would be able to pick it up this way, put it back in the drive position, and then drive it to a safer location. Now the Packbot 510 has got three different speeds. Kind of the average speed here. But if I pump up the speed, you can see it actually runs pretty fast. make it slow like a turtle. And that's as fast as it will go. So that's it today for uh, Fun with the New Hampshire State Police on a Friday. Again, my name is Sergeant Jeffrey Day. Please be safe, please be healthy, and we hope to see you soon.